we are a listening and information service, so we operate every single night of turn from 8pm 8 8 till 8am, so open throughout the night, and we also have an uh, instant messaging service, but like Facebook Messenger, that operates from 8pm till 12pm. Um, so we're student-led, um, so all our volunteers are students, and we aim to help the students as well. Yeah, for many of the different universities. Yeah, we're a completely not anonymous, non-advisory service, so we're just there to listen if you, like, in the middle of the night, if you just need someone to chat to, whether it's, like, for anything happy or just want to talk to or if you want to discuss feelings or uh, wanted someone to support you through a situation, then we're just there to listen to whatever you want to. Get autism on the radar as well. So, I'm a, with me being autistic as well, it's... Any, any chance to do advocacy and promote us in a positive light and say, look, we are really good, we're not scary freaks, <laughs> but I seize it. Basically, we've created quite a good partnership with Lose Trinity and working with the university a lot to raise awareness about the drugs and alcohol the student population. And it's about preventing the efforts we can work with the university to kind of support the students or concerned others who might be having a few difficulties with drugs and alcohol and they just want to talk to someone or maybe come for a bit more one to one intensive support. Um, but we've also been doing a lot of partnership work in regards to uh, doing student work placements as well, so we've given the opportunity for students to come in and do a placement at our service to develop their skills really in drugs and alcohol fields. <laughs> well, we support people from any age, really. So we've got young people to change and work with kids to the age of 18, we then work with adults. And we'll support people who've got any concerns, questions about drugs or alcohol, or who might want to make changes to drugs or alcohol use. On any level, really, whether that's about coming down and using the same level, or if they want to achieve abstinence, we can support them throughout the process of getting there. Um, I think from our point of view it's really important, um, you know, your work can get on top of you and we're here to sort of plan out your assignment so it doesn't get to the last minute and then also things like exams, there's a lot of anxiety around exams presented to different people and we try and give as much advice on how to deal with that at the time.